Ellis, I guess initial thoughts. A game that could have been won. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah, I think um, <clears throat> obviously every game can be won. Um, we have to look at ourselves first. I think Wasps played really well. They had a bit of a rocket last week from their coach. We expected them to come out the blocks, and I think they probably matched us at our own game, if not better. So, um, look, it's tough. We haven't lost for a, for a while now, so it's about the group and, and how we bounce back. But, yeah, I think Wasps were brilliant today. 12 months ago, probably hoping to win games. 12 months on, you get your first loss of the season, and your, your disappointment's different. Is that, does that make sense? Yeah, I mean... We came here last season, it was my first game as captain um, at Wasps away and we made a new record which was biggest ever defeat on the road I think. So I think it speaks lengths about the group as to where we are now that we're absolutely devastated to lose by three points away from home. Um, but ultimately it's not good enough for, for us, what a cliche but I don't know, like, we've just got to go back and look at what we, we can do better. It's all about the group at the moment. Let them lit the wounds and we'll attack Connacht next week. As you say, it's cliche and you say you look at it. How do you guys look at it? What's the first kind of point of call on Monday, Tuesday? I don't know, probably pens. Obviously myself getting yellows. Rafsi, obviously, is was a bit different to mine. But just discipline is just the biggest factor in, in rugby at the moment. Um, play, especially playing the way we want to play with the field position and stuff. So just pen it is, I think, mate. And we just got to match them up front. They're probably, unfortunately, probably first or second time this season we got, we got matched, if not beat up front, which is uh, something we hang our hat on usually and it's just not good enough. Some 80 minute performances being asked of guys with the squad being stretched and then young guys feel that pain of today. There's still a lot to take that guys will learn from. Yeah, of course. And again, another cliche to throw at you is that they'll learn a lot more from losing than they do from winning because I think we've gone through a lot of hardship over the last few years. I know we don't like to talk about it, but like the group's grown so much. It's class to see these young boys leading the way and how upset that they are now. Um, of losing three points away from home to a good wasp side. So it, it does say a lot about where we're going as a group. But as I said, something that's worse than losing once is losing twice. So we don't want to do it again. Finally, 100 games for Leicester Tigers. What does it mean? Um, what does it mean? Uh, the clubs gave me everything I've got to a certain degree in a rugby perspective. I probably won't be here. Well, obviously, I won't be here today if I didn't sign for the club. But <clears throat> who knows what I'd be doing, whether I'd be playing rugby or not. So it's something I have a pretty shitty situation in Bristol six years ago and I'm over the moon with um, how my career has been at Leicester and we've got a job to do to the end of the season obviously I would have liked to have won today but uh, yeah I've, I've loved my time here to reflect back on it and uh, in six months time would be would be a delight.